Now, let's get into True Love Waits. The title is so clear. It's clearer than a cloudless day. It just tells you that true love needs to wait before you get into sex. Is that straightforward enough? That's what it means. And because it's so straightforward, that's why most of you are here. And because it's so straightforward, that's why some of your people or your friends are not here. Are you with me? <clears throat> because it's so clear. They are probably saying, all they're going to tell us is wait. <laughs> and so the title already tells us that. Why do we need to know it anymore? So, believe it or not, my dear friends, this afternoon, we are not just interested to ask you to wait. In fact, we want to focus more on the words true love. What does true love really mean? And then you will know why wait. True love waits. Why are we really having this today? Let me explain to you a few thoughts. Friends, too many people, especially young people, are having sex too early. Now, if your response is, so what? Well, let me add on. This is resulting in loveless relationships. Bad breakups. And sadly, even worse marriages. Why are we really having this today? Why did we put so much effort into it? Well, if that's not bad enough, if loveless religious relationships, <coughs> bad breakups and sad marriages is not bad enough, then let me also tell you, and this is a fact, that there is an alarming increase in sexual or sexually transmitted diseases. STDs are on the rise just because people don't know any better. Abortions are at an alarming rate. Subang being the worst in Malaysia simply because the congregation of students are the highest and sometimes students don't know any better. And even if they did, they were under a lot of pressure to just go and do it. But not knowing that babies are produced as an act of it. And so are baby killings on a daily basis in Subang Jaya and around the world. Now if that's not, a, uh, that's not bad enough, then let me close that part by saying there are also an increase in suicides. And even today, we, re we read in the Star newspaper, page 10, that a guy just jumped out of the apartment block in Penang after having saved his girlfriend or his ex-girlfriend from jumping out herself. And sometimes people don't just jump out because I'm your friend, you are my friend. It's because they've gone too deep. Too deep. And that's why they don't have any other way out. They've gone too far. And the end is just, they want to end their lives. So STDs, abortions and suicides resulting directly or indirectly from having sex before it's time. But how can something that tastes so good be so wrong, they ask us in the world. How can something like sex that tastes so good be so wrong? Now, I would like you to join with me in a couple of seconds just to imagine. Imagine right now that you are a master pastry chef. I just caught this this morning while taking my shower. <laughs> and you were put in charge of a class of students. And today's lesson is on how to bake the perfect cake. You teach them to mix in the ingredients in a bowl. How many of you have baked a cake before? Or maybe you've seen your mom bake a cake before, your auntie bake a cake before. And they mix all these ingredients into a bowl. Now, how many of you know that some children actually like that process because they get to lick the last bits of what's remaining in the bowl because even that is tasty. 
Now you teach them to mix and put the mix into the oven to be baked. Now, master chefs, you leave your students for just a moment and the classroom for just a bit. And when you return, you find your students bent over their odd-shaped half-baked cakes with a smile of satisfaction on their faces, mouths tainted with chocolate and full of whatever it is that they're eating. You're surprised, even shocked. But you manage a sarcastic question. So, how does it taste, ah? Huh? To which they reply, good. Some even, great. We missed the point. Because that's not the goal. Ladies and gentlemen, the cake tasted good even while it was just a mix in the bowl. And you had all the ingredients of sex in you as soon as you were born. Are you with me or not? But that's not the goal. That's not your vision. How many of you would like to put all the ingredients and mix it in a bowl and then go in front of a television and watch your favorite program just lick it a whole program through? No! Of course not. But you could have done that if taste was only the goal. Didn't it just taste good in the bowl? That's not your goal. That's not your vision. You and I have a greater vision because we are of greater value. We are not just a mix in the bowl. The mix tasted great, but we have a testimony to keep. Then some of you might say, why did I go for the cake even though it was half-baked? Because it took so long. Too long, la pastor. Too long to wait. To which I would like to give you a simple answer. It was because you were sitting in front of the oven watching. Why so long? Nobody does that. You do that, you do that sometimes just to see if everything is okay. But if you wait for an hour in front of the oven, maybe half an hour even, that's too long. Watching. Let me give you good advice. You should have occupied yourself with something else. Go wash the plates. Go wash the bowl. Go do something else. With me? Now, some of you say, Pastor, it was too hot. Pastor, I was created hot-blooded. Too hot to handle. Too hot, la, Pastor. I'm a hot-blooded man. Or woman. Well, I've got good news for you. Let me start with, first of all, I've got news for you. It might not be good to you. Welcome to the oven of life. Ovens were meant to be hot, otherwise your cake will not be baked. But the purpose of a hot oven is to complete that cake. It's to bring maturity to you. Completion in your life. Which includes having the attitude and the character to be able to say no. With me? It was meant to be hot. To complete us. To mature us. To be able to say no when we need to say no. Wait when we need to say wait. We are human beings, not animals. The oven has a purpose. The heat has a purpose. Are you feeling hot? Stay cool. 